Hello, and welcome to Moscato and Tea. This is the show for all things beauty, business, and community with your host, Inez and Chiquita. Keeping it raw, real, and unfiltered. What up, lady? Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Like yeah. always. Yeah. Rocking no. it out? Always. Okay. You're looking like a rock star. Every day, all day. Okay. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Move it along. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah. you know, I'm good. You know, you're... You're you're taking the step up every day. You're you're taking it up every all the time. So proud of you. Keep him two thumbs up. I'm done. Whatever. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah. today we have what's happening. Nothing much. You know our usual stuff. Mm-hmm. You know the world. Every day yeah. we're living. Yeah. Uh, every day I wake up is a is a blessed day. There you go. Yeah. You know it's always always. You know? We have a, a guest. lovely guest here today. Absolutely. Her yeah. her name is. Uh, why don't you? I don't even have to tell her. her yeah. Name. Why don't you go ahead and introduce <laughs> yourself? Yeah. All right. So my name is Vanessa Rivera. Hello, 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 Vanessa. Hi. Hi. Um, I am an artist, an entrepreneur. I do lots of things. Mm-hmm. I do um, graphic design. That's how I met Inez. Mm-hmm. And I also have a kids art program. Ooh. So I, love I that. do a lot of things, but they all boil down to creativity and entrepreneurship mm-hmm. and art. Perfect. Oh, we're going to get into all of that. I love that. Mm-hmm. Women Absolutely. working. Yes. Empowerment. I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, so tell us, how did you get started? Um, man, they're all different. So, mm-hmm. uh, so pretty much I'm running three businesses at the same time. I, um, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Right there with you. Uh, so I started, I can't really even say, mm-hmm. I can say where I started with each one. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the graphic design stuff, I went to I went to USC, mm-hmm. and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And everybody was telling me, "Don't be an art major because it doesn't make any money." Mm-hmm. So uh, I tried other things, but they didn't work out, and mm-hmm. that's just where my heart was. So mm-hmm. I decided to do it, and I was trying to be very strategic mm-hmm. because I've always been a painter. But I figured I could probably make more money. With graphic design, so I decided to um, do the graphic design route, okay. and then I just kind of fell in love with it. And with that, it's just there's so many different things that you can do with graphic design. You can work for a company, or you can do your own thing and mm-hmm. be a freelancer. And I started off when I graduated working for a company, mm-hmm. and I didn't really like it because it just was it felt like a job mm-hmm. rather than like a passion thing. And with freelance. I really like helping people. Like I like the excitement that comes from other entrepreneurs when I am creating something that they only have in their head and how excited they are when it comes to life. Okay. So I decided to quit my job and do the freelance thing. So I've been doing that for about four or five years now. Mm-hmm. The kids program is something I always wanted to do. Um, and then the art came about... Uh, probably like 10 years ago when my dad passed away Mm -hmm. and it was my outlet. So those two kind of intertwine more than the graphic design does. And that's more like Mm businessy. And then the other stuff is Mm -hmm. more passion. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And I was going to say, probably what a a little little over a year now, you had an art show that I went to, which was amazing. She had like an art show. She had an exhibit. We were just finishing off. Like we're getting ready to Mm -hmm. finish um, my website. So all you guys like really honestly, the reason I have her here is because she's amazing at what she Mm does. Um, I get more people asking me about my website Mm -hmm. and you know how it all came about yeah Um, she helped me redesign and recreate my logo and the things that I needed in my website Mm -hmm. so it's to the point now I like (laughs) Vanessa will hear from me every blue moon and I'll be like hey Vanessa I need she'll be like Inez how many times have I told you how to do this (laughs) to the point now where she's like I'm just gonna show up do a video and you can go ahead and look and I was like okay great that's good though to incorporate videos to your clients absolutely which I think is a 
bomb yeah. ass yeah. additive. You know, a lot of people just, don't do yeah, that. Yeah, so that's know? really good. So she actually did a tutorial video for mm-hmm. me and literally showed me because mm-hmm. I've asked her like 50 million times and she's told me how to do it. So, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you know, I also her art. I did. She does do paint night, you know, where oh, you'd like okay. sip and paint. Done those, I love that. Yeah, done that with her. So much fun. Mm-hmm. You guys need to check her out on that, too, because I we think should she, do a live episode of that. Yeah. You know, the sip and paint. Yeah. 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 You know, I thought we might have to do that. Yeah. But yeah, it's really fun. She's a great like teacher mm-hmm. as far as an artist and everything else. But um, have her here. So, you know, people who are looking for branding mm-hmm. as far as what their visual branding is mm-hmm. here you have you have a two in one mm-hmm. one she's artistic so that mm-hmm. means that's a very creative mind mm-hmm. um, two she can do it because you know she could do the graphic design yeah. so you get a, a, the best of kind of both worlds because I find sometimes graphic designers are just about this and mm-hmm. aren't very open to artsy and mm-hmm. very artistic while we have here she, yeah. you know arts people are kind of like yeah sure no problem I visualize this this is what I see yeah. how do you feel about about it so um, she was a pleasure to work with easy to work with um, listen to what I asked for gave mm-hmm. me what I asked for mm-hmm. I like I said I cannot be more happy yeah. with my website than I am you know that I am now so no, perfect, anyways yeah. go ahead go ahead with your kids program now with arts <laughs> and kids yeah how did that um, um, what do you do oh yes yeah, so that's been going on for about um, two almost two years now okay and I always had a vision for it because mm-hmm. there were so many kids, well, me and inc- myself included, that didn't have art growing up in school. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize that I was good at it or that I it was even a career until mm-hmm. I was like 20-something. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's like I want to have, I want to open up a door mm-hmm. for the for the kids and I thought at first that I would make it really big with my art and Mm -hmm. then fund the program, Mm -hmm. but it actually went the other way around. Mm -hmm. And I started um, doing these art classes just randomly because I felt like I needed more money after I quit my job. I was just trying to figure out different, you know, as an entrepreneur, you have to figure out Mm -hmm. all these different um, streams of income. Mm -hmm. So I figured might as well start now. And I did one art class. And it was at the gallery, actually, that I had my Mm -hmm. show at. Right. And that's kind of how that started. And then from there, just kind of that's been growing faster than anything I've done. And I started doing an after school program through some of the parents I met. They were teachers. And then it's just been growing really fast from there. So now I'm at four schools as an after school program. And this year alone, we've uh, reached about... 270 kids already it's amazing yeah and then we do like uh these really big um school events Mm -hmm. and some of them are at inner city schools Mm -hmm. and the kids don't have to pay for it which is what Mm -hmm. i really want to happen in the future and um the school pays for it Mm -hmm. they get to paint for free and it's Mm -hmm. during school time so it's like this one school that I did, it's called Synergy. It's uh, They do a self-care week here mm-hmm. day where they teach the kids mm-hmm. how to take care of themselves and, like, mm-hmm. different outlets they can use. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, that's been, like, a huge success for them and also for me and, like, really fulfilling for mm-hmm. me because a lot of the kids will come up to me afterwards mm-hmm. and say, like, man, I've missed. I've never done this before. Mm-hmm. Like, this was great. It felt really good to paint. And it, that makes me feel really good, yeah, you know, because right. – no. Exactly. It feels like the intention is going mm-hmm. through. So oh, that's amazing. Yeah. How do you think, um, as a woman being in mm-hmm. the industry and you know just trying to get different as a freelancer and artist and everything? How do you? How has it been for you trying to make your way and your voice in the industry? Yeah, I talk I talk <laughs> about this all the time with my friends because mm-hmm. it's hard mm-hmm. because you don't know the intentions behind. Like when men want to meet with you. Mm-hmm. You don't know what their intention is. Like, are you trying to mask mm-hmm. a date with mm-hmm. business or mm-hmm. like, what are we doing? Here? Yeah. But I think that in a way that is. Um, it's kind of like an advantage because mm-hmm. even if you're coming to me because you like how I look or whatever mm-hmm. you're trying to mask at the end of the day, like I'm always in control mm-hmm. as the woman. So nothing can happen unless I allow it to. Mm-hmm. So we're going to have this meeting mm-hmm. and it's going to go straight to business mm-hmm. and then either either yeah. you're going to still deal mm-hmm. with me or you're not exactly so it's been hard but um 
And I think that people don't really take you seriously sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like you have to kind of put your foot down more when it comes to when it comes to like dealing like being a woman in mm-hmm. the industry because I don't know. It just feels like people take men more seriously. It's yeah, like, and it in, any, yeah. It's in any industry, like yeah. honestly, yeah. it's like it's a, a guy like you. Like just example, we can we as women could do brows all day, every day, and we're amazing at it. But mm-hmm. let some dude come through now. Every now he's the brow group. Really, mm-hmm. why? Because he's a dude, mm-hmm. that doesn't make no damn sense. I've been doing yeah. the same thing, whatever. But because he's a guy, now he can. I was like, that makes no damn sense. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, we're equal. Mm-hmm. But it's just because he's a guy. So in mm-hmm. the same thing in art or anywhere else, mm-hmm. it's like, well, I'm just as good or even better than that mm-hmm. dude. But right. you're just giving him the props because he's a guy. It has nothing yeah. else to do with the work. Yeah. yeah. So we always used to talk about that. I'd be like, she's yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, another one. She goes, another mm-hmm. one. And yeah. Like, we laugh. Yeah. Cause she's, she's super cute. So I can see why guys are like, oh, let's go out. Let's talk about your art. Yeah. She's like, I thought I was going to an art meeting and then this guy thought we were on a date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, nah. Yeah. yeah. What type of, um, what has been like? Do you have a set like theme with your art, or do is it a variety and stuff like that? What do you have? What um, you I've been going into, into different waves of it. Mm-hmm. Um, what got me started, I think, with the art as far as like going into galleries mm-hmm. and actually pursuing an art career was a series that I did that was the Human Collection, mm-hmm. and that was um, mostly like really empowering nude female figures. Mm. So not like fleshy, mm-hmm. but it was more of a, that's the show. Th- was that the yeah. show that I went to? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like, yeah, um, Tiffany and I mm-hmm. went into that. It was oh, a really okay. good show. Yeah. It was very nice. I was like, oh, hey, what's your best? So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And um, now I'm doing more abstract work mm-hmm. and I'm looking into more color psychology. Mm-hmm. So like dealing with color and how an emotion can be translated mm-hmm. through a color and then how it'll, it makes the viewer feel how it mm-hmm. impacts the viewer. Okay, nice. So as let's say um, I'm a new, I just graduated from college and I'm looking to get into the art world and stuff like that. What advice would you give to up and coming artists that want to get into the industry, get into galleries? How do they go about it? Networking. Networking. Okay. Networking is the biggest thing. Networking and then always, always, always working on your craft. Like. Mm-hmm. Now I paint every single day. I paint because of paint night, but I also make sure to keep that separate and then mm-hmm. paint for myself. Like every single day I dedicate at least minimum an hour, mm-hmm. an hour to four hours to painting so that I can get better. But that doesn't mean that you painting every day isn't going to get you anywhere. Yeah. You know, if you're not going out to art shows mm-hmm. and meeting people and making sure that you you tell everybody what you do. Mm-hmm. Um, you Everybody needs to know that you're an artist like yeah. everywhere you go mm-hmm. because that creates opportunity and even if it's not an opportunity today or tomorrow it could be an opportunity a, a year from now mm-hmm. and people are always watching yeah. like always doing your so- social media right now is really important especially mm-hmm. for up-and-coming artists LA is a great place to start an art career because mm-hmm. it's like really growing mm-hmm. and it's really open to new artists um, but networking I think is the biggest Thing. I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah networking and all. Yeah, big time. It's, I think, and I think we've talked before where you've said you've done, like, you know, you've gone to bar, uh, like clubs and music and you're painting your art while mm-hmm. somebody, you know, there's people, mm-hmm. which are like performance art. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. You know, perform, they do performances yeah. and she does I've art. Yeah. So, you know, she's all, she's, girl, she's all yeah, over. She's everywhere. Oh, yeah. Nice. She's all over. So you might be, <laughs> you might one day catch yeah. her at a show or you might catch her show. Exactly. Or kids <laughs> art show or you yeah. might just call her because you need a new logo <laughs> no, exactly. and your website done yeah, which is, right. uh, kind of reminds me so what with what themes have you been seeing with your clients for graphic design has it been kind of mm. the, the same or has it been a variety what have you been seeing or requested by you um mostly logos and websites okay. mm-hmm. like you said um I don't do too many flyers or things like that. Mm -hmm. I have realized that I'm more of like a simplistic person, which that's why I loved working with Inez because she actually, she has a really good eye Mm -hmm. for things, but she wants things to be simple, straight to the point. Mm -hmm. And I love clients like that because Mm -hmm. that's how I am too. Like, I don't like to do convoluted things. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, mostly websites and logos and here and there I'll get like people that need banners Mm -hmm. and things like that. What do you have any like tips or trades or anything for graphic design for clients that want to, you know, work with you and stuff like that? Uh, Just know what you want. okay? because as a designer, we can only 
do so much. Mm-hmm. You know your brand. Like we can ask you a million questions about your brand, but you you kind of know what you want it to look mm-hmm. like. So if you come to a designer and you say just uh, do whatever you want, yeah. <laughs> that you're gonna pay more because that's more hours that are going in. We're brainstorming. Mm-hmm. We're doing a, more work, mm-hmm. and then if you don't like it, you didn't give us any direction. Yeah. So then that's more money again mm-hmm. because then you have to you start have to over. So just yeah. know what you want. Well, I agree. I agree. Has there been any like top hot colors?